there are some things that you clearly cannot train for in the martial arts. Or could you? Where the kicks at? Where the pains? Where the holes? Where the throws? You know what I'm saying? Now that's one thing I do like about software testing. I can't imagine ever having to deal with this type of situation in an office. Shout out to Fox 5 DC for their use, providing the world with this story. Yes, it actually happened. And while you're watching it, I want you to think about how you can train against it. He later got off the train, was on a platform, kind of stretching and hanging out, then got back on a train uh, and ended up here. And as you can see in the video, um, it was shot by one man in another train looking through. Um, in case you didn't know, yes, he's naked. Through the window at the end of his train into the next train car. And this guy basically unprovoked assault a construction worker, a, a man wearing the, the bright yellow vest that says Clark Construction. That guy going to work. Here's a naked man on the metro, uh, just starts hitting him and then walks off the train milling about with customers on a platform and then gets back on the train uh again this uh, all took place over the course of about 20 minutes to a half hour here now philip blanks who was the one who uh, shot that cell phone video and spoke to us afterward do you want to use your judo throws that you know a lot of times are gi dependent okay if you're good with no gi like they are in brazilian jiu-jitsu are you going to grapple with this person this might be a good case where you know Taekwondo, especially WTF style, is good because, you know, you're keeping them away with your feet and you're not touching them. Know what I mean? Yeah, I was uh, waiting a guy to subway station, waiting on the train, and a naked guy comes walking by. So we get on the train, he gets on the same train I get on. He's standing there, people are moving away. Then the next stop, he gets off, gets on the train behind us. I go to the back window. Start recording, he walks up to a guy and assaults him, starts punching him in the face. Then he jumps on the guy again. When the train stops, the guy jumps off, the naked guy grabs his bag and everything, steps off the train. Then he attempts to get back on the train we're on, but uh, me and another guy wouldn't allow him to get back on the train because there were a bunch of, you know, elderly women on the train, so we, we weren't having that. So. So Mr. Blanks and another Metro rider uh, actually detained this guy. Uh, as you see, he was later put on a stretcher. DC fired EMS working with Metro Transit Police, taking this man uh, to a nearby hospital for evaluation. Uh, he, you know, I would love to have asked him, hey, you know, there's a dress code, what's going on? But this guy was just kind of still agitated and, and, and uh, you know, screaming different kinds of uh, words and phrases. So clearly a man in distress who boarded the Metro today, the red line this morning, naked, uh, upsetting to not only Mr. Blanks, who helped to apprehend this guy, but other riders up here on the street outside the DuPont Circle Metro station. There were other witnesses talking to Metro Transit police, and uh, they were agitated and upset by what they had to deal with this morning, guys. Hey, so How can you rehearse this? Were you going to get to be the uh, uki for this one? You definitely can't train this with um big stages you can't train you can't train this with women or children and then you try training it with uh with men they're gonna punch you in the face so this is a situation that we really can't prepare for in my opinion outside of meditation i know no politically correct way or sanitary way to prepare for this situation but in all seriousness even though i'm being corny with dry humor Stuff like this, you really need to think about. In, in our what if games, instead of thinking about, you know, 37 ninjas rolling over the hills to try to come and get us, what would you do if? Maybe you could just train. What would you do if the person had on no shirt? If you get someone to volunteer to come at you with, with no shirt, what are you going to do? Boxing would probably be good. Box, that's what I say. Boxing might be good. And the feet. That way you don't have to be up close, personal, and touch them. So let me know what you think. Put your comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I, you know, this is going to sound weird, but I do feel bad for the guy who was doing this because he obviously has some kind of mental issues or he was on some kind of substance that made him lose his mind. So I hope he gets the help that he needs. And I'm glad that some good Samaritan stepped up and detained him. 
so that no one else could be hurt. And I hope the guy that got punched, you know, I hope he gets checked out by a doctor. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with people who like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. And peace.